Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Human Resources. So, Mr. Speaker, I have to say at this hour, I'm usually here uh, on my own just with yourself, so it's, I'm delighted to have so many, uh, so many guests. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm honored to, uh, today to rise and introduce the uh, Combating Counterfeit Products Act for the Secretary. Uh, Mr. Speaker, last year our government welcomed the final passage and coming into force of the Copyright Modernization Act. Bravo! Bravo! and new tools for copyright owners and users, giving them the certainty and the tools they need to fully engage in the online world. As part of the overall balance of the bill, the Copyright Modernization Act introduced specific provisions to deal with the issue of online piracy. Mr. Speaker, with the Combating Counterfeit Products Act, we're taking the next step and putting in place the legislative changes that are needed to deal with counterfeiting and piracy in the physical marketplace and at our borders. This bill will protect Canadians from harmful counterfeit products and it will help our creative businesses and workers, law enforcement and border officers confront the increasing threat of trademark counterfeiting and copyright piracy. It will also bring Canada's law in line with international standards. Before describing the uh, various features of this bill, Mr. Speaker, please allow me to clarify what counterfeiting and piracy mean in the context of the <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Combating Counterfeit uh, Products Act. Mr. Speaker, when I speak of counterfeit trademark goods, I'm referring to knockoff goods. <laughs> My apologies. I'm referring to knockoff goods that are distributed on a commercial scale and that closely resemble the legitimate goods. But the bare and unauthorized trademark. <laughs> It's easy to get a little uh, caught up at this hour, Mr. Speaker, so uh, you know that even when the whip is laughing at your comments, that you've definitely reached a new low in the uh, House of Commons. I'm glad that you're staying straight-faced, that I'll stay concentrating on yourself. It's easy to associate counterfeit goods with designer clothes, watches, and so on, similar to what was being spoken on in the lobby by the member of Mississauga South earlier this evening. In reality, Mr. Speaker, counterfeit goods extend well beyond luxury goods. They're found in nearly all types of commercial and industrial products, from shampoo to smartphones, from industrial ball bearings to brick pads. <laughs> order, order. If, uh, if the parliamentary secretary is unable to proceed, would she prefer to uh, cede the floor to another member? Would you like to resume debate? Resuming debate. Thanks. Yeah, I guess he's not. Today, we are, uh, there are more pervasive and more difficult to, de 